good evening and welcome to Winnipeg. For a minute there, I thought maybe I had a mouse in here. <laughs> okay. All right. What do we want to do this evening? Uh, not much. I just want to see if I can paint the top of that and uh, that, that's going to be about it. Uh, it's a cool evening by the way. It's uh, only 18.7 out there and I went out for my bike ride earlier this afternoon or maybe I should say later this afternoon and uh, I, I actually had to wear my jacket. Now I didn't go very far. I only went about I'm guessing three kilometers altogether but it was it was cool especially when it's going into the wind. <laughs> I chose to go into the wind first and then I could go with the wind coming back. Uh, you know, get the worst over first. <laughs> now, when you don't have to pedal, it doesn't really matter unless the wind is cold. <laughs> okay, let's recompose here and uh, move right in on our little part. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I did there. I, I, I did put more CA glue on the top there. I can't remember for sure if I mentioned that at the end of yesterday's episode. I think I texted it in. Uh, okay, let's, uh, like I say, let's... Uh, Okay, what I have done here is I have flooded the whole top area with uh, CA Thin. And uh, then I used a little bit of Instaset to, to kick it off. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it, you know, it's, it's cured. It's been about three hours ago, yeah, it's, it's cured. So my thinking is that now when I, when I paint this with, with the uh, 19, it, it's going to... Uh, this whole thing is going to blend together as as one piece um, instead of two pieces. In other words, it won't look so much like a piece of photo etch sitting on top. Everything will sort of blend together. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the railings, probably the dark 77, and anywhere where it goes down into the 19, then I'll touch it up again. Uh, but But hopefully I'm not going to do a lot of touch-up, but undoubtedly the 19 is going to go down, or rather the 77 is going to go down into the, uh, although maybe I should use the NATO black instead of the 77, maybe a little darker. That would make these rails stand out just a little bit better. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, now Get my other glasses on, and I think that if we get any of the 19 up onto the photo etch here, that, that might act like a primer. So I'm, I'm not going to be too worried about, you know, once again, I, I know I'm, I'm putting it on pretty thick, but uh, is that a bubble? Yeah. Okay, just get it all in there. Try and smooth it out so that when it dries, it dries level, and then and then we we will paint the the uh, photo etch with the 19 here, and then just let it dry. And like I say, I think it'll act as like a primer. At least that's the plan. Okay, did I miss anywhere here? I don't think so. I'm probably just making it worse. Yeah, I shouldn't have touched that spot there. Okay, let's let's just leave this. It looks a little bit faint right there, like almost like it's Try and build it up if I can. Okay, now I think when that dries, I might have to give it another coat, but I, d I don't think so. I don't want to have any photo etch glinting. I want this whole thing to be nice and flat. I'm pretty sure it will. Did I get the inside of this? Once again, you can see this a whole lot better than I can. Okay, let's let that dry. Maybe I'll help it along with the uh, heat gun.
Okay. Now, when you're zoomed in really close like this, you can see where the number 19 sort of, uh, I was going to say wicked its way off of the photo etch, but I don't think wicking is the right word. Uh, beaded, I guess. Kind of like uh, when you wash a, a car that has just been freshly waxed. Okay. Now, I'm going to try, if, if I can not help it, only just do the top top of the rail here. I want to try and put it on thick enough. So I only need to do one coat. Try and get as close to the bottom as I can. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure that that's going to I think that's probably going to be enough because at, at arm's length that's going to look pretty good. And you know what, I don't think I'm going to have to mess around with the with the 19. I thought I'd probably accidentally get the uh, this black onto the uh, gray, but it's it's not. Okay, I think that's probably good enough here. Let's just, just do this one one more time. Okay, how about this one? Across the top. I think the front's okay. We don't need to worry about the underneath. Okay, I think that's going to be all right. We'll let that dry and we'll uh, check it in the morning. So, uh, all being well, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, I just noticed something here. I did not get it on the inside there. Okay, let me check the monitor now. I'm still, which which one is it that's it's this one here? Oh. It's amazing what you see when you look in the monitor. I've got my magnification hood on and I didn't even notice it. Okay. You know what, folks, that's going to have to do. We'll see you in the morning.